everyone, welcome to Diorama update number 50. Here's what we're going to be talking about today. I've got a 1 to 100 scale Stewart diorama, 1 to 48 moon to point diorama, 1 to 35 Normandy D-Day diorama, and then uh, the next group build idea slash timeline and a little bit going on in my life. So let's start with the Stewart dio. All right, so here is my work in progress, 1 to 100 scale, Sylvester Stewart diorama. Uh, here is the little kit. It's like a snap together. Uh, very nice little, took me literally maybe three minutes to put it together. Uh, and then I primed it and I will paint it here in the coming days for this diorama. What I'm going for here is somewhere in the Pacific. It's gonna be a Marine Corps Stewart going over this little riverbed with a log bridge. I'm gonna put the resin acrylic water texture in there. I gotta seal off the sides first. But there's a dirt road, you got the palm trees, and then a little bunker, which I need to uh, fix that window there. I made it a little too long, looked too much like a, a German bunker. Uh, also gonna make the door a little bit bigger in the back and a log trench, but that's, Worked on that last night during our podcast episode recording. Uh, we did the, um, oh Lord, what did we do? The IL-2's uh, fucking airplane from Russia. But yeah, so that's the uh, work in progress, Stuart. Uh, probably by the end of next week, that might be done. Maybe I've got a lot going on, which we'll talk about later. But moving on to the 1 to 48 scale, a moon to point. Uh, long Tom. Uh, this is going to be a recreation of a picture, which is right here. So basically from, you see where the, the road's kind of going in from like here inward, these first three palm trees and the gun are what I'm going to be doing as well as the smoke. Uh, so the whole storyline here is they're on an island right outside of Munda Point. I forgot the name of it. It starts with a P, I believe. Uh, but they're showing the moon to point area and uh, they this picture is showing them getting hit by a japanese aircraft bomb uh, so that's why there's no crew around there's all the smoke but i'm going to transfer that over to this now the palm trees are a little short but that's fine i kind of need them to be that short uh, because when i move i can't have things being too tall anymore <laughs> um, but here we go i got some texture stuff going on some wheel textures and then the palm trees which i'll prime and paint uh, i got the moon to point long tom just kind of sitting here i got the base coat for the mud so i'll have to color all that and whatnot but and then the backdrop i'm going to instead of my normal uh you know plaque like on the Cherbourg diorama right there i'm gonna go ahead and just print off that picture cut it and put it on the back with a little description on top so it's gonna be pretty neat looking forward to doing that all right so on to the uh the 1 to 35 scale normandy d-day diorama which is going to be a commission build so uh, here on base i live in california we've been here for almost three years uh in our neighborhood um my wife and I haven't made too many friends. That's just kind of we're, we're introverts uh, in a way, but we have made a few. And one of those friends asked me to do a uh, diorama for her father, who is a history professor. Uh, and he loves, loves history. So uh, we had him let us know what his favorite battles were. And he, he put like, you know, D-Day, Stalingrad, Battle of the Bulge, Gettysburg, you know, all the big wickets. And I thought, well, I've been itching to do a Normandy diorama lately and I haven't done anything airborne yet. So um, here we go. I've got, so it's gonna have, see, two, four, six, eight figures um, and no vehicles, but it's gonna have eight figures. And those figures are gonna be these guys. So it's gonna be, let me scroll up a little bit. These two Germans running, they're riflemen. These two Germans running, it's a machine gunner and it's a gunner. 
these two Americans, uh, airborne troops, I think that's 82nd, I can't, let me see. Yeah, it's 82nd airborne. And then this guy, who uh, probably 101st, maybe, I can't tell. Uh, but basically, I'm gonna be using all of those, already ordered them, and the way it's gonna go is, there's gonna be a road, right, dirt road, it's gonna be hedgerows on each side, and these hedgerows aren't gonna be like my tiger tank hedgerows. They will be in a way, but these are gonna be, I'm gonna try to make them like actual hedgerows. Like, when you're looking at the diorama from this way, you'll be able to see like all the rocks on the inside, right, from this angle. Uh, just to show you like you know kind of how the hedgerows were made uh the germans are gonna be running down the road right like they're moving to contact um there's gonna be some kind of gap on each side uh the left side is gonna have the two american airborne troopers who are just kind of you know they're, they're waiting if you would like waiting to ambush looking around a corner and whatnot uh storyline goes they're trying to get back link up with a unit it's a morning of june 6th uh, Germans are scrambling, trying to get to their battle positions, um, or, or whatever, you know, communications all over the place. Everyone knows the be day story, so. Uh, and then on the right side of the field, or right side of the road, is going to be a field with, uh, probably going to put corn stalks. I'm going to make sure they, I'm pretty sure they grew corn, because, yeah, they did grow corn, yeah. So, I'm going to put some corn stalks on this side, and then I'm going to have a big tree, like in my Cherbourg diorama, like the big one, and it's going to have the airborne guy who is still in his jump gear and I'm going to configure his head to be looking down and both of his arms to be like hanging uh, and I'm going to have him with his parachute hung up in the tree like he got caught and he looked like he's dead. Uh, a common scene throughout Normandy in the morning of D-Day. A lot of dead paratroopers and trees and on the ground unfortunately. Uh, I don't know if you can hear my son he's talking to the cats or dog. Uh, but yeah, so it's not going to be this big. Uh, it's probably going to be about the size of this, you know, this diorama, about two hands, give or take. Uh, the corner where these airborne troops are going to be, I'll probably move the road kind of like that. So it's just literally a slivet with a little bit of grass, some dirt, and then those two uh, airborne guys. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, they should be here at the end of August, and that will give me about a month month and a half to complete the diorama okay on to the last part of the video just a little uh, little life chat uh, I know I have no obligation to keep you guys updated with my life but it's just something that I think is a courtesy and I, I do enjoy talking about uh, so in front of you you see a bunch of military equipment all sprawled out and now you see it all packed up uh, that's because I'm turning in my gear finally. I'm at that stage of getting out of the military where it is uh, time for me to turn in all my gear. So uh, it's a really big thing, uh, big achievement because it means like, hey, you're done. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I packed it all up, gonna take it to the cleaners, get it cleaned, uh, and then turn it in hopefully by the end of next week uh, or this coming week. So, you know, once all of that gear is turned in, uh, it's a big part of the checkout sheet, which I need to get that done, all my medical stuff done. Uh, and once <laughs> once all of that, there's a bunch that goes into it, but once all of it's done, I can uh, go and get my date confirmed that I'm getting out, and then my wife and I can actually get a house. Uh, it takes a little bit to close because we're using a VA loan, uh, if you know anything about that. So, uh, yeah, that's... That's kind of the big thing going on. I've been doing job interviews the past two weeks. Uh, really, it's really a confidence booster uh, coming from the infantry to uh, doing these interviews for civilian office jobs. Um, and I've, I've, it's, I don't know how to explain it, <laughs> uh, but it, it's good. It's really good, really exciting. Um, but that being said. Uh, since my time in the military is coming to a close, I've taken some photographs uh, during my time, and I'm thinking about doing a video uh, showing all of the videos and pictures I've taken during my time in the infantry. Uh, that'd probably be about a 10 to 15 minute video. Uh, if you guys would like to see that, let me know, uh, and I'll, I'll gladly do it for you guys. If not, I'll probably just make it unlisted.
But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the video today, guys. Kind of a longer one, but it is what it is. I <laughs> uh, hope you guys have a good day, have a great week, and I will catch you guys in the next one.